is is the light that indicates on your dashboard that you have a uh, low tire pressure. Here's the thing, before I get the day started, I gotta figure out what's going on here. We'll, we'll see what happens with the tire because I need to put in some time, right? And, and, and today is a good day to put in some time. Hi. My um, tire sensor light on my dashboard is coming on. So is that how you do it? You check each one, then you know which one's low. Yeah. Are those two good on that yeah, side? They were, this one was a little lower than the front one. And the thing is, is that, you know what? I, I ha I've owned the car maybe since May. And I swear I've had this these tires patched and plugged at least four or five times. But I drive Uber and all that stuff. Yeah. DoorDash and Uber. So what I'm thinking that they're all they were all low. Uh I want I was gonna I wanted to make you guys my tire shop. Oh. Mm -hmm. How how do you feel about that? I mean That's fine. Yeah, because you said have it checked out, but is it something I need to take care of today while I'm here? Okay. With if the you, other tire? If you want to get it checked, we could check it now. Well, do you know for sure that's the one well, that's that probably is that was the lowest of all of them. How low was it? It was thirty when it's a. And what's to be the car? 30. Okay, I thought the car was thirty-three. No, no, no. They, they always put thirty-three in it over here when I change my oil, and they do the twenty-one point inspection in your tires, yeah. washer fluid. Yada, yada, yada. And they put 33 in all of them. No, we normally do all 40. Every car, every truck, it don't matter what it is. I don't think I have any cash. She wants $3 for, for one thing. Let me wipe my hands, too. Dear God, man. I can't even clean my hands, bro. Hold on. I need $3. Yo, so the tire pressure gauge on my dashboard is off. I guess all four tires were just low on pressure. So I hope that's the case and I don't have to get tires for this car because I really believe that's the next step. Okay, so we got our first order. It's this one. And what had happened was the driver next to me, I said, hey, what's up? She's like, did you just get that one for $41? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, oh, well, it came to my phone and the wheel was spinning and then it went away. So I was like, oh man, I, I, I hope this order is going to be okay. We start from the top here. Gummy bears. You know, can't believe it's not butter. Just grocery stuff. Caterade. Oh God, there's the kicker. 32 inch TV. Uh, I didn't see that when I first took it. Razors. Toilet paper. Okay, this order is bigger than I thought it was, but we're going to get it done. You know, you get kind of greedy when you take these orders, these shopping orders. I don't look through each item that well. But I think we got to get this bad boy right here. No, I think the UPC is on the other side, though. How heavy is it? Too heavy for my blood. I would say, look at that perfect fit down there. This cart's going to be heavy right now, though. Go get what's left. A couple of ice creams. Oh my god, I can't even turn it. I I need some help getting this into my car. So he's calling somebody to see if somebody come and help me load it. I might just try to manhandle it up in my car. It's heavy. That thing's I don't know how many pounds it is. It's like a net weight of 150,000 pounds, I think. Let's see. I mean this is the heaviest piece of it right here. It'll hold up to 117 pounds, no, 1,700 pounds. You have a dolly I bought from Amazon. It unfolds. I'll carry it up to, I'll carry that thing up to the house with that dolly. I've been waiting to want to use it. See, you could probably actually put the TV in the back too. Okay. And the too. That fits perfectly back there. We might even get lucky and have someone help us unload this thing once we get to the destination, especially they'd realize they have a TV coming. This Amazon dolly I just bought online is supposed to hold 110 pounds. I 
I don't know. We're going to find out right now if this is going to work. It should. It should. Let me walk it up on this dolly a little bit. Thinking. Man, I was going to try to put the TV in here too, but I'm not. Because this thing's got to be 60 pounds easy. All right, there it is, man. All right, this works good. Sorry, it's DJ. Hey. God, the TV is so light. Stacked properly. Complete the drop off. Let me text the customer. It's been delivered. Have a wonderful week. There's a dog behind me in that van back there. I'm going to play some barking on YouTube and, and pull up on him. Hotter than a fired pistol. Did you see that? <laughs> All right, Joe, we got another shopper coming up. I mean, I really prefer curbside, but today I'm going to take these because these are decent payouts. Hands down, the biggest shopping order I've ever done. I think there's a case of water down there, but you know what? I think I'll put it in the back seat because I hate to load all this first and put the waters on top. We got diapers for the kid, like the older kids. It looks like toddlers or something. Still wet in the bed. All right. If this this is record breaking order here. Okay, so let's go like this. Oh, these cases of water are just brutal. This for sure, hands down, biggest shopping order. Hands down. Go get this thing unloaded, man. I got the back seat and the trunk. So let's head out. We are at the spot here. I'm going to unload the water first things first. Oh, I got quite a few, a, a few more trips. Yeah. All right, we're pulling away on this one. We had some people come out and help us out on the unload on that. That was cool. We're going to be pulling into Walmart uh, in about... 30 seconds. Last shopping order was a big one. I hope we can pick up some curbsides from here, man. I've only done two orders today, but those shopping orders, they make you feel like you did four. Okay. Which one? I don't know. 1835. 1.6. Uh, 13 items. I'm just going to go with it. I don't like to sit too long, man. We're going to back in right there. We got a couple guys behind us loading their cars. Let me show you this order here in a minute. We're backed up right to the store. Okay, so this is our next order. $18.35. 14 items. The, the bad part about this order is where did I see it? There's some vodka in here. The only bad part. I think we'll try to do get that one first. I don't know. What's up, big money? All right. Ah, yeah, it's tough. It's tough, huh? I got one yesterday for fifty. I did last one sixty. Yeah. Yeah, with this one. That comes with the job. Sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have yeah. bad. I'm not exactly sure, but I feel like the guy, I, I couldn't figure out what point he was trying to make, but I think he was saying his orders have not been paying out very well. But, you know, you have good days, you have bad days. Sometimes you get a $12 order, sometimes it's $24. Hey! I tried to, uh, to add-on to this order, but it didn't make it. Uh, yeah, order. I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't see anything on my end. Come on, baby. There it is. Cool. Steady hand. Okay. Thank you. Do you, want, you mind if I sign or do you no, want to sign? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.
Okay, y'all, so we are back at Walmart. We got an order that we're sitting on right now. It's a curbside at $36.37, 12.6 miles. Not a perfect one. It's 5.30 now. This could possibly be our last order. I'm not sure. It's got a couple bulky items, and so one order has alcohol. 5.45 p.m. Sun's going down sooner. It's a nice breeze today. Well, I think we're in the 80s. So it's a really high chance that um, this is our last order. Damn this. Let's see. Start scanning. Bam on that. We're going to find it. Oh. Oh, this one. One of these has alcohol, I think. The thing I do want to say about this order, this is a 50-pound bag of freaking cat litter, so I'm really hoping that dolly comes in handy with that one. It's just so dang heavy. 50-pounder bag. Oh, and, it's, and it's leaking. Shoot, I hope this holds. That sun is lethal. I couldn't get your cat litter up the stairs. That person was super cool about the cat litter. They did not care. She was like, don't worry about it. I said, I can't get that 50 pound bag up the stairs. I could have, but man. So first order off and that's good because that big one, I was the first one I wanted to get rid of and get it out of the car. On to the next order. Scanning. We're on it, so this might be a two-tripper. Let's just see if we can get through that gate. Okay, we got that delivered. I want to double check to make sure there's nothing left in here. That looks good to me. Okay, we're done. Once we get parked, we're going to go over some totals and look at some orders. Currently 720. We're back. Let's check out some totals, uh, dissect some orders. We only did four today. I thought it was five. It wasn't. It was only four. It felt like five because that was a lot of shopping and lifting and all that stuff. But let's check these out really quick. So we only did four orders, like I said. The first one was 41. That was at 131 this afternoon. That was a big shopper. Uh, I think it was just a couple miles. And then second shopper was $35, $30 base pay. Uh, that was a big order. And then 18 that was a small little order that didn't go too far with alcohol in it. And then that last one was, we just finished was 36 Finished the last drop at 646 so... 130 to 646 turns into, I don't know, 100, let's see, 70, 114, like 121 bucks, I think it is. Hey, so check it out. Stay strong out there, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Tip Trips. It's been a pleasure serving you.